Now there's a global wildlife protection conference going on in Johannesburg right now and one of the big issues is how to protect sharks. Countries that depend on shark diving for income of course are pushing hard. The Bahamas makes about $100 million a year from shark tourism. Fiji makes about $40 million and Sri Lanka and the Maldives are also pushing for sharks to be protected. Of course, they're all deeply concerned by another group that makes money from the sharks, the fishermen who sell their fins. Now, Aletta Harrison has this report from Cape Town. It's one of the most feared creatures in the sea, so you would be forgiven for thinking that we need protection from sharks more than they need protection from us. Yet many species of sharks are severely threatened by human activities, such as overfishing, which is largely fueled by the shark fin trade, valued at $1.2 billion a year. Pollution and habitat destruction pose additional threats to shark populations worldwide. It's a major concern for scientists like those at the South African Shark Conservancy. It's estimated that between 73 and 100 million sharks are taken out of the oceans every year. And we also anticipate that a huge amount of illegal and unreported fishing for sharks is happening, which brings that number up to maybe double fold. In certain areas around the world where sharks have been removed through overfishing, ecosystems are collapsing, and this has huge implications for humankind as we know it. Despite the alarming evidence pointing to the damage being done, sharks have only recently started receiving protection from CITES, with the first species listed in 2003. So far, CITES has only eight out of more than 400 sharks on its protection list. And that's only after parties recently decided to include five more species on its so-called Appendix 2. The more sharks on Appendix 2, the less they are hunted. What we've seen since then certainly appears to be a curb in the illegal trade internationally because an Appendix 2 listing means that there have to be, has to be paperwork in place for animals to be traded. The South African Shark Conservancy is among those organizations now lobbying for silky and thresher sharks to receive Appendix 2 protection. Their numbers have declined more than 70 percent in recent decades due to international demand for their fins selling at $20,000 a piece. Even though these species have made it onto the agenda, their protection is not yet guaranteed. Two-thirds of parties present will have to vote in favor of their listing to ensure stricter trade controls. Aletta Harrison, TRT World, Cape Town.